Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be discussing about one of the very fundamental linear data structure, linked lists. So let's see what actually are linked lists. So if we just read out this definition here, it says a linked list is a linear data structure in which the elements are not stored at contiguous memory location. Okay, The elements in a linked list are linked using pointers as shown in this diagram. So I don't know what might you have concluded with this definition. But this is basically comparing it to arrays. And this video actually requires that you should already know what arrays are. Well, in contrast to arrays, as we, as we are going to see further, don't worry. What happens with arrays is the, the every element is, uh, inside an array is actually stored uh, in contiguous memory locations, right? That is, that is one after the other in the memory, right? So first of all, just observe this linked list data structure. Try to you know, like uh, figure out some things that these boxes are there. I'll give the name to it. These boxes are called as nodes. The first box is actually called head. And then you have all of these series of boxes. And if you notice carefully, the last node, the last node has this second part, which is actually pointing towards one thing called as null, right? Very high level observation of this diagram, nothing else. Let's let's just you know like uh, visit back to the arrays a little so if i'm saying that this is a memory just assume that this is your memory computer memory and an array is stored right now as you can see every element is contiguous so uh, if i just give up give addresses here and considering that my characters are uh, like only taking one byte to uh, to get stored here well, the let's say the first one is standing at 0x01, zero zero right? The second uh, element would be standing at 0x02, zero zero and the next one at 0x03, zero zero and further on, like this. So, if you see carefully what is happening here, just like inside the memory, if elements are kept one after the other, that is called contiguation, being kept in contiguous way. Now, Actually, in linked list, it differs a lot. Linked list is somewhat like this. You are going to have an element, then it is going to be, let's say, it is stored at 0x01 again. B would be stored anywhere in the memory, like anywhere in the memory scope that you are given. So it could be 0x09, or it could be the C, uh, next element could be 0x0147, uh, anything, right? So the addresses are not in your control. At what position you are going to put it, it, uh, it is not in your control anytime. In linked list, every node is kept at various, like different locations in the memory, and those are actually connected together, connected with links. So that when we are standing at the first node, we know where the second node is kept. When we are standing on the second node, we know where the third node is kept. And this goes on till we reach the last node. And you might uh, remember the first diagram that I showed you, this one. The last one actually knows that it is last. And how does it know that this like particular node is last? Because in the in the second, like this field of this uh, node, one null is connected, N U double N. Okay, this means that there is nothing further. This was the last, uh, like this was the end of the linked list. Coming back to this diagram, I hope now you know how actually linked list at a high level looks like. And you are clear with that uh, linked list is something composed of nodes connected with links, correct? Uh, okay, coming back to this diagram, just uh, as you can see, like see this G is the last node. That means its next uh, should be pointing at none. Now let's come to what is a node. We have been saying nodes. What actually is a node? Well, node basically has two parts. The first part is there to store the actual data that we want to store. So assume we have one array, one integer array precisely. So I was storing elements in that, right? Uh, integer elements in that. So the node that I'm making could be of this type as well. It could be designed for storing integer data. It could be designed for storing character data or even the strings or different uh, structures that we want to make. Any sort of data that we want to store should be in this block of our node, the data uh, area of our block. One thing that is compulsory is this next. Why it is compulsory? 
because next is the field which actually maintains the reference to the next node wheresoever it is kept in the memory okay so the whole existence of uh, existence of linked list is because of the links that it has and that is stored where at the next of every node right now let's see ways in which we can create our own nodes okay so firstly we can create our node using a structure uh, in c or c++ or in general we can use classes to create up our nodes so if i go with the structure uh, we actually specify the data field first so i can say int data whatsoever we want to store here uh, if that is of an integer type, I'm going to say integer data, or I can use any other data type here whatsoever I want to store in my node. Okay, now the next pointer. Now, this is for you to tell me what is going to be the type of this next pointer. We are clear with it that it is a pointer if we talk in terms of C or C, or in general, we call this as reference. Uh, that means reference to some other node, right? But uh, if you're talking about C or C++, you must tell me that what should be the data type of this next. Let me give you a hint. When, whenever we had an integer like this, int a, and we wanted to use a pointer to it, we used an integer pointer, right? We, we used to write it like this, int pointer p, so that we can say p equals ampersand of a, right? That means p is storing the address where a uh, where a is actually located now if we have to uh, replicate the scenario here what are we actually doing i am making up this structure i am making up a node this structure so i must say struct node right i am making up this structure and i want to have a pointer which will be to uh, which will be actually pointing to this same structure like uh, not this particular uh, same but similar sort of structures Right, so that uh, so what I'm going to write here is I'm going to I'm going to say node pointer next because this is now now the term is term for this thing is self-referential structure. Now this structure has become self-referential structure. We have seen how we can uh, make this uh, node using a structure, but actually, like in pra uh, in practical implementation, you most of the time you'd be using class to implement the same thing. And uh, we'll be seeing further how we can uh, use classes in Python as well to create up our nodes, okay? And in general, whether you are using any of the language, Java, C++, or Python, you will be using classes for implementing uh, linked lists. Let's now first see the other topic, connecting nodes. Now you know what nodes are. Now we, we must know that how we can create a linked list out of this node, out of these nodes. So assume we have these two nodes, A and B. And I have made them as object of this class node. I have said a equals node, the name of the class, and the data that I want to pass in. Let's say I said 10. So what will this line do? What will this line do? Well, this is actually specifically syntax of Python, but what I'm doing here is I'm creating one object of a class. Okay, now what is happening here is I am creating one node. Let's say this node is created, and the data field actually is 10. Initially, when we uh, have not put anything in the reference, it would be none or none. Then I've done the same thing. I've said b equals node. Let's say this time I said 5. This node will be created and 5 will be kept in the data field and the next field will be empty. But still, it doesn't look like a linked list structure, does it? The linked list structure is actually like this, which is composed by making up links. This is the linked list structure. So how we can connect these two nodes? Well, for making a connection from uh, here to here, we need to actually say a dot next. That means I'm talking about a's next field and I need to fill some value in it, okay? Only then this value will, uh, this space will be storing something. And what should, I, uh, what should it store? Where b is and it will be done like this. So once I write this line, a dot next equals b, that means I am actually making up this connection. And if you want to understand what is happening here, like even in depth, then again, you must take help of pointers. See, I am keeping it, uh, I'm keeping the syntax in Python so that it can be very simple for you to create a linked list and start working on that. But remember, whenever you are working on the concept of linked list, you must actually understand it with pointers as well. 
So just uh, just to you know, just so you know that this is how the links are formed. But what is happening internally? Well, you have this block A, you have this block B. A does have some address. Let's say I said it is 0x101. B also has one address. It is 0x, let's say 705. Both of the nodes have next uh, next fields. Now I have to make this connection. I have to make this connection. How it how is it actually happening? I am actually just putting up this address. I'm putting up this address at A's next field. So it is something like A's next equals address of B. Same thing written in two different languages. This is to simplify stuff for you. And this is to make you understand how actually addresses are working inside. So this will be kept here. So at this point, it will be actually 0x705. So complete A node would be looking like this. So whenever we say A is next, we actually are referring to B. Whenever we say A is next, we actually are referring to B. Now, once I, that I've said that, uh, once I've said that, so you must tell me what is A dot next dot data, okay? A dot next dot data. If I print this value, what will be printed? Now, see, if you have said five, then you're correct. Because I just now told you, what is A is next? A is next is 0x705. So once A is next is actually B itself, that means we are saying B dot data. So saying A dot next dot data is actually equivalent to saying B dot data because A dot next is nothing but B itself, right? So now I hope, now you know how you can connect nodes, right? Let's see how we can compose a linked list with it. So you might remember that in our initial diagram, there was one thing called as head. Right, and head was actually pointing to one node, and that node was having connection to the other ones. And eventually, in the final node, it was having connection to null. Right, that means that is the last node, it is the ending node. One point to notice here well, none of these nodes are actually being denoted by variables, just like we did a, b, c, and d. We cannot uh, individually say A equals something, B equals something, C equals something, or D equals something, and then connect each and every node with it, because that would be too much ma manual work for us. We don't have to do that. We have to automate that some way, right? For that, we build up some logic, and that is actually ling linguists are used for. So to use their dynamic nature, we can extend linguist as much as we want, at least theoretically. So now, I will tell you, how we are going to create a linked list? First of all, head is crucial. You must understand that. Just to even begin with linked list, we must know where head is. Okay, the whole existence of uh, of a linked list is because of head. We know that there is a linked list once we have its head, right? So what we'll do? First of all, we'll make one head. I'll say head equals node, and I'll give some value to it. Let's say I've given ten. Now, this was the only manual work that we had to do. Now, the next thing we will be automating using loops so that it uh, can be kept on building to how many nodes that we want. I'm emphasizing a lot on head and head shouldn't be moved, right? So you do not have to keep on moving your head, but at least you need some value which you can uh, denote your node with, right? So for that, what I'll do is I'll just give a temporary name to it. To head only, I will also attach one more, uh, just like one more reference, a pointer, so that I can reference that node. I can actually, uh, you know, use that node. So I'll say temp equals head. Now I can move my temp, but I cannot move my head because head is going to be there at its position. What I'll do is, so how, how so many uh, nodes I want, what I'll do, I have my head here after writing this line, right? Then this. H is here and also this temp is here, right? Both the things pointing to same thing, same node. Now what I'll do, I will create up a new node. Okay. And what I what will I say? Let's say I'm saying it is uh, it is new n, n e w n new node equals. I'm creating one more node, node, and I'm giving it some value. Let's say I'll input it from user. Okay. So I have created one new node and its name is new n. The situation is with you. 
how would you connect these two nodes? You have seen it earlier, right? We can simply do temp dot next equals new m, right? So what will happen? This link will be there. Now I will do one thing. I will move my temp. How can I do that? I can simply say temp equals temp dot next dot next. And this is a very useful line. This actually helps you to move in the forward direction in Linglist. Okay, you can say temp equals temp dot next. That means now you're pointing, now your temp is pointing to the next one. And if you execute this line again, that will again jump to the next node and will keep on going until the last one. So what, what, uh, what is happening here? I have built this connection and then I have moved my temp from here to here. Now these three lines can be kept in any loop for or while up to you. And you can execute that as many times as you want, as many nodes as you want. So in another iteration to what will happen, again, a new node will be created. You know where temp is. This temp.next equal new, uh, new n will be there. This uh, Again, this connection will be made and temp will be moved to this node. If you're going to execute it once more, then again, a new node will be created. And then again, this connection, temp.next equal new node will be done like this because the name is new n here, new n here. And then temp equal temp.next. That means temp will be moved here. Right? And this will keep on happening until we get out of this loop. This is how we actually create a link list. So I hope now you are uh, clearly able to understand what link lists are, uh, how it actually is working from inside, how it is created, and you're very well, uh, you are very well aware of how nodes are created and being linked to each other. Right? So your fundamentals are getting clear now. Uh, so I'd be wrapping up this video here. We are going to be having another video in this series. And in that, we'll be practicing link lists hands-on. And we'll be practicing a few questions in that. Thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, do comment down below. Thanks.